Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Welcome back. As we move through our paces, exploring this galactic quadrant to conquer and kill. I didn't actually go over some of the stuff I probably should have. The victory condition is actually to take out everyone's homeworld, not to just completely eliminate everyone, but just take the homeworlds. It also applies to me, so I need to protect my homeworld pretty good. Which I will do. Come on, player 8 taking turn, player 9 taking turn. Alright. But, come on. Here we are. Get moving, you lazy ships. Menu. Options. System icon movement speed. Very high. Anything else I need? Okay. There. They're much quicker now. They're not instant. Yeah, there you go. And we've got, you know, more temporal tech done. Can I adjust the scroll speed on that? I think I can, actually. Can't I? System panning speed. Combat panning speed. Not quite. Help control options. Pop up. Long history. No. Nope. Alright. No one found the warp point. Lovely. Okay. Um, that's all right, I suppose. Uh, you're doing okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Generating a fair number of research points. That's uh, what I like to see. So anyway, yeah, we finished Temporal Tech 5. That's really all I was holding out for, to be honest. I can get cool temporal weapons after I uh, develop improved temporal studies. I think I need level 3 for that, though. But I'm going to wait... F it's going to be less than 14 turns, probably going to be like 10. I am in desperate need of ice colony ships, so... I require them. Yeah, it's taking a sweet time. At this rate, I'm probably going to have to start editing at the... Uh, turn in like the in points in between the turns probably will okay good you found the war point I want you to warp okay we've got a star standard blue so now let's see if we can't find some planets that I can colonize out here I'm banking on hopefully finding it. Warp. Okay. Then they made to the edge of the system. Yeah, no system modifiers or anything. You're not done the uh, new scout yet, are you? No. Okay. Once I get ice colonies up, I should should uh, work on getting improved applied sciences. Uh, even though it says research center, it just means research center level 2. Like, applied research is literally just improve your research centers. You have to upgrade them and everything, but that's okay. Uh, I should probably also work on cancelling that temporal uh, travel agency because I've upgraded it like five levels. Yeah. Okay. Two research centers have been built. Lovely. Okay. So find me a planet that I can live on. The rock small, rock small. I might have to make a colony that isn't in an oxygen environment. I do not want to do that. But if it comes down to it, at least we found a gas giant. Cool. Well, we can't get, we can't find anything that way. So we will move over here. Slowly try and scout the system. I uh, know I want to cancel. All right, let's try and scout the remainder of the system. See if we can't find a good planet to live on. I hope. 
Like I said, I got I struck out lucky having this. This thing I can just turn into a gigantic research point generator. It's in the back of my line, so it's pretty safe. But yes. Really, we aren't done with that new scout yet? Did I not issue it? I didn't. I'm a moron. That item. Yeah. Temporal space yard, I really like I said, I don't know how to get rid of you. Um Currently selected over from the queue list. No. Can't rename the system. Cargo orders, deconstruction orders. Abandoned planet. Not quite. Launch or recover units. Settings order. I don't know. Oh yeah, let's rename. Set colony type. Really, I'm trying to figure out, um, you know, how can I get rid of that space yard? Because I really like a temporal space yard there instead. I know it'll take me a while to build, but that's okay. Anyway, <clears throat> onward and upward. Okay, here we go. Oh. New research center. Boom. Boom. Come on. I'm really hoping. Ice with no atmosphere. A large... Yeah. I'll take it. I will take it. It's not great, but eh, can't stop expanding. Stopping my expansion is death. Yeah, we're down to nine years as the research points available just continue to increase significantly. Really gotta pump out more. Um, yeah. Ooh, let's see. I really think I need to start getting on some other stuff. Get fighters ready, perhaps. Like, I am really underprepared on combat right now. It's gonna kill me. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. What will I be build here? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it a resupply base, or yeah, a resupply base. Yeah, what's the do domed colony? Domed colony is about one fourth the space of a normal colony. So, as you can see, we got four thousand to build here. What I am going to build include this, this. This and temporal vacation service, yeah. There you go, four thousand. Spaceports are required if I want to be able to, because otherwise resources that are generated in the system, in research points included, are will let will not be added to my pool. They can be used by the system, but without a spaceport, um, they can't actually, you know. Can't actually do anything. Let's see. Okay, so where the heck are they? Alright, so it's another two. That means somewhere over here? Maybe? Okay, I guess not. There should be, like, I figured, I guess it's here then. Move it there. Alright. Uh, we'll just give it the order to move there then. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. You're coming along okay. You're building the, uh, thing now. So, we're good. Okay, here we go. Processing, come on. Finish off, yeah. Where the hell's the warp point? 
There's got to be a war point. Just keep searching around the edge of the system. Anyway, computerized scout, you can see the gigantic green ring around it, and that's everywhere that it can see. So, get going. Okay. I really should probably consider developing a, a combat ship, but I really want to get temporal weapons first, because those are awesome. I love them. Six turns left. Eh. Might actually get this by the end of this episode. I'm just going to leave my space here at not producing anything for a few turns. That's alright. Like I said, I've only got unarmed scouts and colony ships right now, but that's alright. Okay, we're back. Come on. More research. Cool. Yeah, we want to warp to Janok. Perfect. Okay, so, in the meantime, you successfully found a warp point. Good work. Tell me, where does that take you? Well, this one has a star, so it's a plus in my books. Might actually manage to find planets here. The Devonshire system. I'm actually starting to get far enough out, I'm thinking other races may be around. Have to be ready. Can't be snoozing. Yeah, I really want temporal weapons before I uh, start building combat ships, though. Because those things are sweet. Also shields. I also want shields. I need physics level 2 for that as well. Okay. Processing and... Kablemo. Okay. Spaceport has been built in Janook. Good. So all points all points are in the system are automatically transported to the Palmyrin A Imperium. Whereas this one does not have that. And that's because a spaceport was constructed here. Alright, so we got the Devonshire system. Um Haha. -ha. This is a good start. So we got a hydrogen, methane, none. Carbon dioxide, hydrogen. Ooh, but huge. I actually might take that. Huh. Different trivia. Xi. So we got at least 11 planets in the system. That's a fair decent, fairly decent number. We've been discovered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's at least four more planets in the system. Uh, hang on. How's that coming along? 0 0.4 years. All right. Closing in. Very good. Very good. Um, like I said, we're going to need to get to work. Um. All right. Temporal vacation service constructed. So that means you're done, aren't you? Yeah. Still got 4,000 more. Should do that. It's only gonna take one turn. I'm gonna make four more of you. Yeah. That'll help the happiness of people. For a temp with a temporal vacation service. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, Devonshire. Devonshire, okay. We are seeing... Great. Devonshire V... Three, six, seven... I don't know, at four, six, seven, so... Yeah, still a few more plants to find. Come on. Warp. There we go. No, wait, did I? I'm a moron. Oh, well. Uh, there should... There should be a second warp point somewhere. Apparently it's back here. Okay. Find it. Alright, here we go. Facility upgraded. Fine. 
Well, let's see what's in the system. Whoops. I totally did not mean that. Okay, it's a star. Good. Okay, huge methane. Cool. You? You're moving here. Oxygen gas giant. Cool. XII. Wow. Yeah, there's 12. Probably some undiscovered planets over here. Let's move you right here. Oop, there we go. It's another one. So we're looking for 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 9. That's 12. Yeah, it's all of them. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, all of them. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. As always, this has been Kilvin. Signing. Well, I feel like I haven't closed this episode properly. Usually I ramble more at the end. Like I'm doing now. Now I feel like I've closed this episode out properly. But before I do, I want to check. Two turns until I can get ice plant colonization. Yeah, getting planetary colonizations is important. Oh wait, do I have physics? Oh, yeah, I have physics level too. I can just get friggin' shields. I just need temporal tech. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Kelvin signing off.